Hey guys, so in this video we are going to ask for the player name and also make just a few changes to make the, the game look a little bit better on the console. So first let's start by asking for the player name and we can use the game input.text and this is how we ask the player for the name which is part of the utilities and we need to store the result of this so we need to store the result of the player name on a new variable because we are going to use then that variable, the player, uh, the player name, throughout our print statements uh, in our game. So instead, everywhere where we have the user, we are going to replace it to use the, the value that's stored on that new variable. And since this new variable um, is going to store a piece of text, we need to declare a new variable of type string because it is going to store a uh, text and we are going to call it player name and we're going to make it equal to the game input.text. And before the input, we need to add a new print message of type input. And basically we are going to get the message, what's your name? So let's just see when the game starts, we're going to have like this message and it's going to wait for the player uh, name input. Okay, what's your name? Name is Tom. And okay, and then it continues. That's what we want. And now that we have the player name variable, we need to change uh, the or we need to change the print messages to use the player name instead of the user. And we already know how to do it because it's player name, and we use the plus operator to uh, join the value of the player name with uh, the other text that we have on our message. So yeah, this is a little bit boring but we need to do on everywhere so i'm going to just copy this okay to the number here we don't need this player name and result blah 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 player wins the round no player name wins the round and here player is the winner and player name is the winner and so now when we run our code instead of having user we're going to have like whatever is the name that we uh, the user um wrote before Just see, Tom, choose your side. Tom is odd, computer is even. Okay, I choose. Tom, choose number two. Computer, choose number one. Result, Tom. Okay, yeah. So now we have this. And now let's add a few more um, print messages to our game just to make it a little bit prettier. So we have several print messages. We can use the print, game print.box to add the name of the game, odds and evens. And let's use this one also at the beginning to say that it's game over. And you see that this message, basically what it does, it print, prints whatever the message like this, with these whole, these symbols uh, around the message. Now we can also use, let me see what other messages uh, here, game print we have. So we have the box message, the input, we are already using it. And then we have the message, but this is not the one we want. Okay, we have the message, which is the default one. And we have also a success and er an error message. And we can use this, the success and error for when the player wins or when the player loses. So let's just, first let's just um, replace that one. So player is even, result is even, result is odd. Okay, player wins the round, for example, instead of having console right line, we can use game print dot success. And when the computer wins the round, instead of having this, we can use the game print dot error. And exactly the same for when the computer uh, is the winner or when the player is the winner. And here, let's just change this for error. Okay, we can change all this. And then we can also change, so we have the success and the error. And now we're going to change all the other ones that we had before. Instead of using console right line, we're going to use the game print dot message. I think it was message. Okay, so these ones are going to be all messages, which is like the default messages. Uh, here. Yeah, here is not, it's also a default one. Maybe we could just like financial place, but yeah, whatever. And this one, and this one, 
and yes let's try it and i also want to show you how to change something here where was it uh, Uh, here we are going to also change this to a different um, statement i'm going to show you just a bit okay so odds and evens what's your name i'm tom let's put it like this choose your side i'm playing with odds okay now you can see that the default messages will look like this and now you can choose okay tom wins around computer wins around and tom wins around tom is the winner game over okay looks a little bit better uh, and now let's just change this. So you can see that if the result is even, what we are doing is that we have the same message, basically. We have a result is even or a result is odd. And the even or odd basically depends on this. And we can change this and we can use another operator called the ternary operator, which is basically a kind of if else statement that you can use on a single line. And how it works is something like this. So you can have, if you what you want, is and now we are going to concatenate this string with the result of that ternary operation operator and the ternary just so that i show you the ternary basically is like we have a condition then you use the question mark and you have the value what you want to run when the condition is true and what you want to to run when the condition is false so you can see it's a little bit like an if and else so you have a condition what you run when it's true and what you run when it's false. So you have a condition, a question mark, the true and the false. And this is uh, how we can do it. And here, we need to put it between parentheses. So the condition is result is even. This is a condition, question mark. And what we want to concatenate with our string when the result is even is basically the word even, uh, even. And what we want to concatenate when the result is uh, odd is the word odd. And so instead of having all these lines here, we can put all in a single line. So result is, and it's going, if the result is even, it's going to concatenate with the word even. If the result is odd, it's going to concatenate with the word odd. Let's just see if it's running. And yeah, I think this is it. I'm trying to remember if I'm forgetting something, but. I don't think so. Okay, what's your name? Tom, choose your side. One. Okay, yeah, result is odd. And result is even. So you see that it is working correctly. Okay, Tom is... This is it. So <laughs> this is our game. And yeah, so I know that it's not a very exciting game. But, I mean, if you are just learning how to program, you can see that you have close to 100 lines, let's say. And basically, you at least touch most of the basic concepts that you have in programming. So we saw everything about variables, integers, strings, booleans. We have if-else conditions. We have while loops. We know how to increment variables. So, yeah, basically, this is it. So... I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll probably do some other series like this, but with more complex um, concepts. So I hope I see you on the next videos. Thanks.